Good afternoon, Charlie. How are you? Fine. Good, good. Um, another album? Uh, yes, another one. Yes. How many is that? I've got no idea. I never listened to them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, a nice, uh, it's a, a fantastic album nonetheless. Um, as I say, it's just been... Uh, uh, we're coming up for a release here in South Africa. The reason why I actually asked to speak to you was uh, was because when you were out here, uh, obviously you have South, Afri South African connections, so we thought we'd keep it all local. Well, I don't have South African connections. Don't you have people on the coast was it your, or friends of yours? No, no, Ronnie Wood's wife has, has people in South Africa. Then you lied, you see, because you were on, on television, you said... Not me. <laughs> But that, that's never lie. No, no, no. But uh, that aside, um, uh, let's let's talk about uh, the Rolling Stones because obviously that's what we're here for. But um, as I say, you you did this phenomenal tour. Um, how was it for you to? Uh, how was that tour? Was it was it a standout tour of, of any note amongst others, or was it uh, just based on this on the on the sh on the sheer size of the tour? Um, it was long. And I don't remember any of it at the moment. Really? But I never do. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, to me, they all become one tour, you know. Mm -hmm. 30 years of them all become, it's, you know, they're, they're so long and so I, I sort of lose track of them all. Mm -hmm. And you just, I, I, you know, it's a bit like playing a cricket match, I suppose. You don't remember. There's certain moments you remember, but usually I have to... It would take Bill Wyman to mention something, or Ronnie or Keith to say, you remember this bit, and I, yeah, sometimes mm. I remember that, but my own memory is very bad, always has been. Mm. Mm. But, but the actual moment when you're up there on stage, do you, do you, do you, do you find yourself being sort of pretty blasé about it or indifferent to it, or yeah, no, is you, it still a buzz? Oh, it's still a very much a buzz. And, uh, and the other thing is, uh, usually you're so busy thinking about whatever, you don't see or hear uh, anything outside of what you're doing, really, or what somebody else next to you is doing. Mm. So I, um, it's, 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 but it's still very much, it, I mean, it's the, the most pleasant thing to do, mm. it, for me, anyway, being a drama, is to play live on stage. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, that seems to be where the Rolling Stones have been able to sort of maintain, you know, that well, yeah. well, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah we got the, uh, the greatest entertain in the world, I think, at the moment. Mm -hmm. I mean, because a lot of the others have died. Um, yes. um, but I think Mick is probably the best, in front of 10 people he's, uh, and upwards, he's the best person at whatever you call it, putting a song across mm. or being himself, whatever it's called, mm. uh, in the world, I think. So, mm. Um, yes, I think, and Keith is the same, really, so it's easy in a way. It's a bit like in cricket in terms, if you have Alan Donald, you're, you're laughing. Mm. <laughs> if you have one of the big fast bowlers in the world, you know, mm. doesn't mean to say you're going to win every time, but you do have that added advantage of being, having the best, you know, so it's, you know. Mm. Mm. But Does it sort of give you a, a feeling of sort of, um, of, of power in the sense that you, I mean, on the back of the tour, um, I mean, with this huge stage that you had, um, I mean, it's certainly one of the one of the biggest stages ever built, you know, for a tour, um, I think, by anyone. Um, but you're sitting up there and you're looking out and you see all these people. W you know, what goes through your mind at a point like that? Well, me? Yes. I, I sit down, look out, and see if it's full or does it feel full mm -hmm. and uh, once that's satisfied I'm only worried about the start of the first song <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. and then the ending of the first song then the start of the second song the ending of the second song for 22 songs and that's it really yeah. that's the extent of my involvement in the audience because that's not what I do no, <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and I'm not and, and, and Primarily, I'm not interested in that either. I'm interested in playing the drums mm. to Keith playing the guitar, you know, mm. or Mick singing. Mm. Mm. Uh, Mick, Mick is a, the one who entertains. I don't. Mm. But is it? But is, is it? A, is it sort of a, a powerful 
sort of experience for you just in the sense not, that... Not for me, because I like that. Mm. It, it, sometimes you sit up and you think, blimey, have all these people come to hear this? Mm. But I don't really think about that, really, mm. to be honest with you. Mm. It's, a, it's a job and a living to me. Mm. Um, no, no. Sorry about that, Charlie. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, not at all. But um, getting back to it, um, the um, just as no, I was just saying that uh, with regards, um, say, especially doing the last tour, um, when you sitting up there and you've got this huge, great stage, um, and you and you look at it, or is there a point that you think? You know, my God, this is all a little bit ridiculous, or you know, you know, it shouldn't quite be this big, or you know, a little, no. Us after about twice being on it becomes the normal stage that you work on. You know, it's just a working surface. Mm. So um, it, uh, it, it's just that sometimes you go to places and suddenly there's fifty thousand people come to see, and you think, God, I don't believe that many people want to see this. Mm. That's a real thrill, you know. Or mm. That never changes. That you know, you go to Moscow and suddenly, mm. yeah, you, uh, or you, you know, wherever we go, you know, it's just that that is amazing, especially after 30 years or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, as I say, I mean that in itself. But I think, I mean, the the challenge in putting a show together, as you say, with you know, with your input, you know, as far as the staging of it is concerned. Um, I mean. In, in trying to offer people something different, because I mean, the Rolling Stones. Well, that is one of the problems of, of, of um, a doing live records and doing a show is to is to it's still retain the Brown Sugars, which everybody wants to hear, as well as something new for our benefit, for you know our interest and also an audience. And it usually is a juggling job. You know, I mean, it really is quite difficult. It's a lot of work as well to begin with. It's not once you're in it, you know, doing it, but to begin with, it's a hell of a lot of work. It's usually mixed, um, big concern, worry, whatever you call it. Mm. it. He's the one that takes or shoulders those responsibilities. Mm -hmm. I must admit, it was, it was quite interesting. I was speaking to an artist, um, I think, uh, late last year, with um, you know, with the Rolling Stones. I mean, at that point, I think you were you were touring Canada and the States. Oh, yeah. um, and this artist was so peeved that uh, that you happened to get all these huge, great sponsorships from American companies, and you were you were a British band. So. Well, I can see that as well, but we don't get that many big ones really. The last year, the, that American tour, I'm a bloody awful. Yeah. That spr sprint, sprint. I think that's right, sprint. Yeah, rubbish. Mm -hmm. Rubbish telephone and rubbish sponsorship. <laughs> Still, um, the thing is, when you do those big things like that, you have to have help from any way you can get, really, to do it. And they, I mean, when you say, do you see these things, I think, you know, yes, unless you start hiking the price of tickets, which I think they're, they're high enough, personally, I do. Um, it, it, it has got so expensive, all of it, that it's kind of pricing itself out of, the, out of the ballpark. But that's me, you know, another, the guy who runs it all will say, no, no, you do this, that, and that. It's another way of doing the books, you know, but. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, as I mean, if, if you compare, I mean, even shows that you were doing five years ago, they, they, they just seem to get bigger and bigger and more and more. They do, I don't think, but you know, I'm, but, uh, you know, that's uh, the world, you know, maybe the shows in the future, the shows will get, I don't mean us particularly, I mean generally entertainers, will do smaller venues, but to more people, i.e. via television and satellite live television, you know, uh, perhaps there'll be a more pay-per-view type shows, you know, maybe that's the way it'll go. In other words, you can play in South Africa without ever going there. Yeah. Or you play one show in the middle of Johannesburg and you play to the whole of South Africa, you know. I, I, you know, that's, that's... And then you have an unlimited, you know, talking about millions then, mm -hmm. per night. Mm -hmm. is, is it a case of, you know, that, you know, that the band ever get anxious you know, that, I mean, like, I mean, your next, uh, you know, it's all intents and purposes, should you do one, um, that things have to be bigger, that they have to be... No. Uh, no, it's our own fault, really. What, but it's... 
you can't play in a, a nightclub if there's 30,000 tickets sold. Sure. You know, um, by that I mean you go on sale, and if only 500 are sold, then you would forget the stage or cancel the show. But you would forget the big stage and you'd go into a club, mm. and you'd do one night or two nights for 500. If there's 30,000 sold, you're going to live in Cape Town for a month mm. to play to play a thousand. You know, I mean, sure. it's just not possible. So, because we are fortunate enough to have enough people want to come and see us live, mm. uh, whether it's us, the stage, or Mick no. Jagger or Keith Richards, they come to see. If we, it's it's a whole package of things that, that they want to see. There's this ex. This, this number that suddenly becomes either 10 or 20 or 30 mm. with noughts on. Mm. Mm. You know, the, 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 the situation becomes that, you know. True. True. I mean, but if you think about every year that goes by, um, you've still got your your initial fans that you, you know, that, that you pulled in 30 odd years ago. And uh, and every year from there, it's just, it's just snowballed, so. I think that's because we still make records, you know. Mm. I mean, if you think that the Beatles sell whatever it is number of records doing yellow submarine again yeah. on record imagine if imagine if they hadn't i was going to say john was alive but i mean mm. if they hadn't have broken up after eight years and carried on for 30 mm. i mean they'd have a huge mm. they've got a big enough fan base period mm. but they would have that even more so mm. you know i mean it would be still i i think it would be still astronomical mm. Do you still sort of make it your business? I mean, I know that you've, you know, you've said as far as the stage is concerned and things like that, obviously there's input. Um, but as far as putting an album together like No Security, you know... Yeah, usually yeah. the design of the thing. Yeah. I'm usually asked to um, comment on uh, the visual thing, really. Mm -hmm. Or do I think it's a good idea? And usually that comes from Mick. Mm. Or say we've got to get an album cover together, mm. Mm. and then we'll sit and talk about something. Or he'll show me some people's work, and I'll say I think he's great. I don't like him though; he's terrible. You know, mm. and he'll say, "Well, I like him. I don't like that." So I'll say, "Well, you let's see the two of them, or whatever." You know, because mm. I, mean, I mean, you did some work with Anton Bain. Uh, yeah. Did, did Did you enjoy working with him? Yeah, he's great. Mm. Very good, Anton. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Because he's, 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 I was hoping that, uh, you know, that you were going to be using him again, because I thought that he, he captured... We did use, um, we used him on some stuff, I forgot, oh, on the beginning of the tour, you know, we, we did yes. some stuff in, uh, in, in, no, it was in LA, actually. Oh, right. But the thing is that, um, uh, it's best not to use people again and again, sure. you know. Um, it, in a way, that's what's kept us, you know, you use somebody the best our best covers usually come from very good design groups or from artists mm. in themselves you know mm -hmm. like christian piper who was a painter did a cover andy warhol did a cover mm -hmm. but you don't go back to andy and do a nut the next one you know mm. you, you just you move on or, or back whichever way it is but yeah. you do something else yeah. and yeah. It, that's what makes it it's different it's rather like you don't do the same set of songs again on an album sure. you know you just you try to move on i think you know mm -hmm. yeah it's just keeping it i mean that way it, 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 it retains it's interesting, for, mm. interesting for us and also i think for people are listening really sure sure now um the rolling stones in 1998 um will we see another live album do you think do, will we see another tour oh well i think we're going out early part of next year um, for a little while but after that no because you, you must have a break yes for yourselves yeah but also you, you know you can't keep doing the thing so um, and we've always done that you know we usually we used to have years off mm. so I can't I can't see us doing any more shows for another five years I wouldn't recommend it mm because I think you need that time for an interest to create again. Yes. You know, I, I mean, that's how I see things. You know? Sure, sure. I mean, along with people turning up to see you, there has to be an excitement that you're going there. Mm -hmm. You know, otherwise it's boring, isn't it? You know? True, true, true. You know. 
Now, as I said, I mean, the tracks that um, that are on the album as well, um, I think, as I say, it, 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 it's a it's a it's a pretty good reflection of uh, you know of, of a period. Um, you know, again, you know, was there full input in, input you know from everyone's side uh, to the point that I mean, obviously, as you say, you did the you know, you get involved. Well, I the think uh, I think they use the new stuff, which is good. Mm. That's the most that's the thing I want to do, and they use they being other people sure. um, uh, in the band. I mean, let me, I think they that they chose and I agreed with. Um, the obscure ones, mm. and the ones with the guest artists on, which I thought was more interesting, I personally did. I would, I would have loved the whole album to have guest artists, mm. but that's because I do the usual things every night. Mm. But um, I thought uh, I thought that Waiting on a Friend, things like that came off very well. Mm. Um, and my favourites on there are Respectable and uh, Thief in the Night. Mm. But they're my personal favourites. And uh, as I say, if, if you look back on this last tour, was there, I mean, if you had to sort of pull out, I mean, as much as you say, it's a, it's a bit of a blur, but um, is, there, is there anything that sort of stands out that you, that you remember that sort of made that tour special for you? Um, I suppose going to Moscow, really. Mm. I'd never been there, never wanted to go there, but when I went there and got there, it was wonderful, really. And I was very surprised. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of other things that are difficult to explain on the telephone. Sure, sure. Uh, and uh, just audiences generally, I mean, most places are really warm, really. Mm -hmm. So, Sam, I mean, and, and your whole South African experience, was that, was, was that great for the band as well? Do you mean in the summer? Yes. It was a wonderful test series. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> uh, and bloody close. I thought South Africa, in a way, won it. But yeah. They didn't actually win it, but they should have. We were chasing. The, we were chasing them on every day. I thought we were personally. Yeah. Even the last game, I thought we were still chasing. We did really well to win it, mm. but uh, really, really well to win it because I think that uh, they set the pace every time. Mm. And like what happened yesterday in that one-day game. Mm. If they'd have got away more, we would never have stood a chance. Yes. But they were lucky in a lot of ways. But, you know, anyway. Uh, but no, that's, um, as I say, Charlie, I'm, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I just want to say congratulations. Thank and, you. And it's been an absolute honour. Um, I've waited. Well, thank you. I mean, I'd love to. Uh, South Africa was great, actually. Mm. You know, I wish we'd have played in more places. Yes, yes. Uh, well, that's for uh, next time. Well, let's, well, let's hope, you know. <laughs> but, um, you know, we have a guy in the band from uh, uh, Durban, I think. Oh, really? Blondie Chaplin, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a singer, friend of Keith, and he sings a backup singer. And uh, uh, he was talking, you know, because um, uh, there's the drummer on the, with who I know, who is his friend, Anton Fig. Mm. Do you know Anton? Um, I know of him, yes. Oh, no, he plays on the uh, Dave Letterman show. Yes. Wonderful drama, but they, they were talking about places, you know, to go, and it, mm. I would have loved to... Yeah, maybe next time. There we go, as I say. And, okay. and interesting enough, as I said, just uh, just touching on the album with Dave Matthews, I mean, Dave Matthews uh, performed with you, and he's uh, also South African-born, so, you know... Dave Matthews? Yeah, yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, very much so. I bet Blondie didn't know that either, did he really? Yeah. God. That's how you learn something new. He's, he's a very good uh, band he has, you know. Stunning, yeah. They are good. Have you ever seen them live? Um, no, they're I haven't. They're very, they're, I mean, they're amazingly popular. Mm. I mean, uh, but they are very good. Mm. They're very good. Yes. Now, do surprise me. There you go. Pleasantly surprised, actually, because they're nearly always American. Yes. <laughs> no, he's, he spent a good few years there, but he's... Uh, he is, I mean, he, he grew up in South Africa, so... How incredible! Okay. Okay, well, good, good luck. Thank you, thank you very much Thank again. you, Jason. Thank All you. All right, I'll see you. Bye-bye.